Hi, Barry Thompson, ropemags.com. Aluminium hardtops, there's a lot around. This is the Fruza F18. Now, they've been around for quite a while, building them in Invercargill. They're not as common in the North Island, but they're certainly getting known. We've had a bit to do in the magazine over the years with the, the Fruzas. Done the F18 open cutty version a few years ago. Great boat, pontoon boats, four mil bottoms, three mil pontoons, very well constructed, got a very, very good name. This is the hardtop model of the F18. It was the first one they released, but as I say, it's open as a, available as a Fisher, it's available as a center console, or if you really want some space, you can have it as a tiller steer open dinghy. So, you know, you've got the best of everything. Transom area is a very typical alloy boat. What you see in this boat is what the owner wanted, but you can change it all around. We've got a lift up here with a walkthrough. You may want to put a live bait tank in there. You've got the bait board in the center. Over this side, we've got the battery storage, but again, you could make that the walkthrough, or you could have a live bait tank, whatever you want, or you could have nothing at all, just go straight across. In the transom area, two duck boards. One's obviously taken up with a five horsepower Honda auxiliary. The other side, isn't on this boat, but you can put a nice drop down ladder, good for when you're diving or coming back from fishing or water skiing. And here, we've got a 100 horsepower Honda. Now, the boat's rated to 140. 100 horsepower Honda does about 40 mile an hour, so it's probably enough, but it'll take the extra grunt if you really want to do something with it. Got a really big cockpit, and it's, this is a fishing boat. It's what it's designed for. Good wide, flat combings to sit on when you're fishing, waiting for the big bite or rolling over if you're going to go for a dive. A bit of storage either side above the uh, pontoons. And what I like are the cantilevered seats. Very, very strong option. They're really solid and good storage underneath, which is great. And they swivel so you can have them around the other way. There are other seating options available. It really depends what you want, but this is probably the most common and it gives you a lot of space. But the hard top, plenty of height. All nicely lined, so it sort of gives it a warm feel, takes away that raw aluminium. Got toughened glass screens, you're not going to bust those in a hurry. Nice parcel shelf here, I hate something that doesn't have a little fiddle rail and things fall out. So you put your phone, your sunnies, your keys, they're not going to come off. Dashboard, big enough for a 12 inch MFD, we've got a low rants Elite 7 here, enough room for the instruments. Still plenty of options there and you can change that around if you want to. Got a Cobra VHF. Now down here, normally this has a little footrest across here and a little cargo tray, they call it. And this is all open, so you just toss your gear. And this owner wanted a couple of small berths, which gives them good storage. In this case, got the life jackets under here. Not big enough to sleep on, of course, but okay for a couple of kids. Still sitting headroom in here for a couple of adults if you, if you need to. And a small hat so you can get through to your anchor locker. Uh, if you haven't got an automatic system.